the injury to Jimmy Smith, when it happened, we were all like, Achilles, ACL. Because when you get cut it off, you think Achilles, ACL. But no, it was not as bad as everyone thought. It was only a low ankle sprain. Now, we heard of high ankle sprains. That's more of when your ankle gets pushed up more and you get the sprain more into your calf area. When you have a low ankle sprain, it's more on your calf and it's harder for you, more on your ankle and it's harder for you to run. So it's not serious, or it, it's not majorly serious, but it's still a serious thing that we have to take our time in. Hunter Henry, the tight end for the New England Patriots that they brought over during free agency, is having an MRI on his shoulder today. He, he had hurt his shoulder earlier in practice, and the concern was they don't know if it's separated, they don't know if it's actually damaged, they have no idea. The only idea is they're going to get him, take an MRI, and just see what happens. But that's another reason why they brought in John Rue Smith from the Tennessee Titans from free agency. If this happens to Hunter Henry, who's a great player, John Rue Smith, an equally great player, can take over. Wake, staying with the Patriots, Raekwon McMillan, their linebacker they brought in from free agency, had tore his ACL in practice. And it's just a shame. It is. It's not right. You, you feel bad for these players. They're trying to get on the field. It's your new team. You're trying to make trying to lead everyone by example and then you can't play it's very harsh but it's just the way the NFL goes and these things kind of work themselves out and injuries do take place it's just the nature of the sport the Jacksonville Jaguars are shopping top 10 pick from last year's draft CJ Henderson to multiple teams this is because they were not very really pleased with C.J. Henderson over the last year. But the problem is they're also trying to, this is a new management, new group of people. The drafting isn't the same. Everyone's different. Like, if we're talking about people who are getting drafted, Tristan Hill, the Cowboys defensive lineman, is on his third D-line coach, third defensive coordinator, third scheme in as many years. The chances of him making the roster, oh, and also he was hurt last year, the chances of him making the roster, who is, he's not even on the practice field right now, are exponentially low because he hasn't proven anything in his time, and he's on three different defensive coordinators, three different defensive line coaches, three different schemes, and now he's not even there to practice. It's, it's just the way the NFL goes, and there's chances that he may not even make the roster. So it always changes. The NFL landscape always changes. The Saints kicker, Will Lutz, or really I should say this, the Saints have a kicking problem because Will Lutz has a groin injury and may require surgery. Now this is a big deal if you're the Saints because they kind of injuries, especially to a kicker, are very big. Anything that requires your back, your leg, and your groin area, anything of that nature, is massive for a kicker. Because your back, you're constantly twisting and trying to use your legs. You can't have your leg hurt. You can't have your, uh, the, your kicking leg can't be hurt. Your plant leg can't be hurt. And your groin, if that's hurt, it's going to make it very difficult for you to do your responsibility. We saw it with Adam Vinatieri, who hurt, I believe it was his knee, and he was trying to go, trying to go, trying to go, and he just, he didn't look the same anymore. But that was because his knee was just in bad shape. The same thing happens when kickers have a groin issue. It's very difficult. I remember when the Cowboys had Dan Bailey and he injured his groin. That was a, that was a wild time. <coughs> Excuse me. To bring in another guy, to bring in Mike Nugent, and he just he couldn't fit it really well. His style wasn't the same. Everything wasn't the same. It's just the way it goes. The injuries kind of back 
rack up in the NFL. It just happens that way. Speaking of surgery, Jacksonville Jaguars wide receiver DJ Choke had surgery on his finger. He had a finger issue last year. Played through it as much as he could, but he just wasn't the same guy. So he had surgery on it. It's kind of a shame that he had to have surgery this late before week two, or well, officially week one of the preseason. You, you only have three of these. Unless you're the Cowboys and Steelers, you have four. But you desperately need these, and if you're not there, it's going to be very hard to see if you make this team or not. With DJ Chug, that's not the question. If you'll make the team, the question is, if he makes when he makes the team, he's got to hope that that finger does not bother him.